Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be doing part two of my Fusion 360 how to make a sword tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be making a broadsword, as you can see on the screen here. And in the first part, if you didn't see that, check the eye up in the corner. Um, we made a katana style sword. And now I just want to reiterate that um, I'm just showing you like how to make the base of a sword. So this is not like a complete start to finish um, sword tutorial. Um, I'm just showing you how to get the base shape there. Um, and then you can go in and add the details and make it your own unique sword from there. So these models won't look like finished swords. Um, it's just, it's the basic shape. Then in part three, we're going to be splitting up one of these swords and uh, making it print ready. So with that said, let's get into making a broadsword. So first thing I always do is come into Google image search and just type in broadsword. And now some of my favorite sword designs are always like the video game or anime t style broadswords that are just like crazy proportions. Like you'd never even be able to hold it up in real life. But I think those are some of the most fun. So if I search for broadsword anime, you'll see that the swords get quite a bit more funky. And almost immediately one of these pops out to me because I don't want to go crazy right now with something like this or even this because that's insane. Um, but something like this, very simple, looks very cool. That I think is what we're gonna be going for in this tutorial. Um, not this sword specifically, but something very close to that. We'll have this sort of shape where you have the, the round handle and, and the long flat blade. So now that we have the basics figured out, we need to f sort of figure out dimensions because um, we aren't gonna be tracing this one. We're just gonna be kind of uh, freehanding it in a sketch and then creating it from there, which actually is not very hard at all but you do really need to know uh, how big you want to make it. So um, luckily this image has the sword sort of in context on the character of the anime that it is in. And if we just assume that this character is six feet tall, because that's a pretty safe assumption, it looks like the sword takes up most of his body. So maybe the sword is about five feet, including the handle, and the handle is probably going to be anywhere from eight to 12 inches. And another good thing to know is about how um, thick you want the handle to be so um, it'll fit your hand properly. So let's head into Fusion 360 and um, since we are making this sort of our own sword it'll be a little bit easier because we don't have to follow any exact dimensions. So um, as always start with the sketch and then I'm just going to map out some really rough dimensions. So normally when you're working with something in Fusion 360 you're kind of staying small. Um, but we're going to be going quite a bit bigger because I just googled um, 5 feet in millimeters and we're looking at about 1500 millimeters. So um, I will come to the line. If we zoom out um, and zoom back in just a little bit, that's 750 right there. So if I take that and just bring it down, right there is 1500 millimeters. So that's good. That will be our center line. So then let's find where the handle is going to be. Um, I'm going to make it just 10 inches to make it an easy number. And that is roughly 250 millimeters. So um, that's just one of these boxes, luckily. So I can just come here and say that is going to be our handle. And you can already see that that's roughly the proportions of a sword. So what I'm going to do is revolve the handle because I want a nice um, smooth looking handle that is round. And then I'm just going to extrude everything else up normally. I want to put a little ring in right about the center point, so I'm going to come right about here. Now I determined that I want my handle to be about two inches around, so um, I'm sketching half of the profile here, so we're just going to make it uh, 25, zoom in a bit so it'll snap to 25. I'm just going to use a circle, two point circle, right there, and then that will give us a nice uh, perfect curve there. Then I'm just going to use the spline tool to kind of craft out um, the rest of the shape. But this is where it really comes down to your preference and how you want it to, to look in the end. There we go, something kind of like that. This is probably gonna look really weird when it's done, but that's half the fun, right? And now I'm just gonna continue around and I'm gonna create the guard and then the main shape for the blade.
Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with for the final shape. So I'm just gonna stop sketch, and then it's just a process of extruding it out. And now I'm actually gonna do a couple of things here to make it easier on myself. Each of these different sections, I'm going to extrude out separately and keep them as separate objects. I'm not gonna join them together. So there is the basics of our sword and then obviously we're going to mirror these parts over to the other side and I extruded them symmetrically. But as you can see, um, just looking at it now, I made this handle way too thick so I would have to come in and um, shrink that down quite a bit. But luckily since we are in Fusion 360, we can just go back and edit the sketch and all will be good. So then I think the next step, I would um, round these corners out using a fillet. And then of course we have to add a chamfer to the blade to make it actually look like a blade. Now as with the last one, we're probably gonna wanna go with um, two distances, but we'll give this a try. So 10 down, 20 in. Now that I've got that pretty much the way I want it, I'm going to mirror it and um, get the other parts over there. There you can see we've got a pretty typical giant anime sword. And now looking at it like this, I think I went up too far with these, um, this little inset right here. So I'm actually going to come back and fix that in the sketch. Now I'm going to combine the um, two half pieces over here. So I'm still going to keep all of them separate going up the sword, but um, left and right they will be together. And from this point, I think it's just adding in some finishing touches and making it look um, more like the sword you want it to. Um, and that just means adding in details. Like if I were doing this, I would probably add some sort of emblem here on the front of the sword. Um, one, because usually swords like this have something else attached to the handle to keep it connected. Um, and it just looks really cool. So you can put any sort of design you want right there. You could even import an image of something you've um, drawn out and put it on there, which would be pretty cool. And I might actually create something down here that would help the, um, the rest of the sword attach to the handle. Something to give it a little bit of extra flair down here and maybe make it so the attachment point is a little bit stronger there as well. So I think I'll leave the tutorial at this because like I said, this is just the base. I added in a little bit of extra detail to show you how I would do it, but um, for the most part, this is a, the basis of a sword. Let me know if this was helpful for you. If you create a sword using any of these methods, tweet me a picture. I would love to see what you guys are working on. And then like I said, um, stick around for part three. If that is released, I will put a, an eye up in the corner so you can go right to that. And I will show you how to break this up and uh, make it just a little bit more printable. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.